Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss PineStaller. PineStaller is a popular tool for converting Python applications into standalone executables, making it easier to distribute and run your applications on different systems without acquiring a Python interpreter. In other words, if you want to run your applications or your Python applications on, let's say, Windows machine without installing Python itself, uh, you can do it by uh, converting your applications or Python applications into standalone executables using installer. So I've got a procedure here. So one is, number one is install PineStaller. So I have this folder where all the files, including the Python file, is saved. And I have this command prompt. This is basically the location where these files are located. And I can do it that way to just show you the these files. This is my Python file. So first step is to install PineStaller. So I can just copy and paste this command and enter. It says requirement already satisfied. This is because I already installed uh, PineStaller. But I uh, just wanted to show it this step to you. Okay, and the next step is to create the executable itself. Um, and this is the syntax. Syntax. So PineStaller dash dash one file, which means packages everything into a single executable file and dash dash no console meaning ensures this is to ensure that no console window appears when running the executable this is useful for GUI applications and of course this is how you specify your custom icon here and the last argument is the application or the Python file itself and this is the example that I'm going to do in this video so I can just copy and paste this and go here. So like I said, this is where the you know Python file is located, which is this location here in the command prompt. So I can just um, copy and paste the command. So let me see. So one file, now console, icon. Oh, I have to, I have to specify the icon itself, which is this icon. I need to put that name there and do it again. Okay. So yeah, again, pine installer dash dash one file dash dash no console dash dash icon equals switch that icon or actually ICO this ICO and the Python itself uh, the icon you need to download this from the internet um, this one here I just downloaded this from the internet and this the link where I downloaded it and of course this is where you can uh, also check the Python installer documentation if you want to if you want to have a look. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this command. This will take a minute. Might probably uh, fast forward this. Okay, so now it says building X say from completed successfully. And now if I go back to the same directory, I will have this folder here. Here, this is where the executable file is located. So you can just move this file into the main folder, which I just did, and delete this folder. And you don't need this folder as well, the build folder. So I can delete it also. And now I can, yeah, I have to delete this, that spec for a uh, file as well. And now I can just delete this file, the Python file, and I can delete this file. And now, yeah, so, like I said, the disk folder, that's where you can 
uh, locate the .exe file. And now you can go ahead and just click the this file here. Just double click it. Now it uh, works. So this is a GUI that I have created using the uh, this Python file. So that's how you can use PyInstaller to convert Python applications into standalone executables. So yeah, that's it in this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.